it's me sanchari and welcome back to my channel simply sanchari hope you all are doing well from the title and the thumbnail i know you all have come to know because it is nykaa's hot pink sale and i'm here to recommend some of the makeup products some tools here and there so it may be helpful for you in near future also this video would be little longer than usual please grab your snack and your drinks and let's get started with this video All right so I will be recommending products from each and every category so it will be easier for you to understand and also I'll try and give some speedy mini review about each and every product so first one is primer and I have got three primers for you for each and every skin type and this is Milani pore blurring and mattifying primer this is the elf power grip primer and this is again from Milani the supercharged dewy primer now this primer is really really helpful if you have extremely dry skin it is going to give you nourishment hydrate your skin and also if you like that dewy uh, makeup base it is going to do that next is this elf power grip primer and i know you all know by now how beautiful product this is it is suitable for each and every skin type and it is going to hold on your makeup for the longest hour because of its extremely glue like tacky base and the next one is this milani mattifying primer this contains lily plus bamboo extracts and it is suitable for each and every skin type because i have a dry skin type still i love to use this it just evens out your skin blurs out your pores and gives you a soft smooth canvas to work for All right, moving on to the foundation category, I have got four options for you. So the first one is this Mars Blossom Soft Matte Foundation. I've already done an in-depth video with the wear test. If you guys are interested, please check the link in the description. So this is a beautiful foundation, you guys. I really enjoyed the finish. It gives you a nice satin-like finish. It is not overly drying and it is quite lightweight. The only problem are the shade range. Very limited shade range. I think 5 to 6 shades you get but if you fit in this 5 to 6 shade range then it is a beautiful foundation next is this pigment play cover enhance and nourish 3 in 1 foundation and a concealer now this is supposed to be a matte foundation but i don't think so because it gives you a very nice velvety soft matte kind of finish and it feels very very lightweight it is hell long lasting you guys i did a wear test on this foundation and it lasted pretty well through the sweat heat humidity everything proof it is the next is this faces canada 3 in 1 hydra matte foundation as the name suggests this is a beautiful hydrating moisturizing nourishing foundation and also it has got a moisturizer sunscreen in it and also it is infused with skin care benefit now this is a lightweight hydrating and a long wearing foundation i have already reviewed this foundation on my channel with a wear test it lasted through this hot humid sweaty climate and i was totally amazed to see how well it set on my skin how beautiful my skin look even after 6 hours of wearing this foundation how can i not include the anastasia beverly hills luminous foundation this was my dream foundation you guys i was eyeing this for the longest time and i finally have it this is in the shade 355n and it is a foundation which is absolutely vegan cruelty free gluten free clinically tested dermatologically tested non comedogenic suitable for sensitive skin no flashback and is completely a long wearing foundation i have done a review on this with a wear test if you guys are interested please check this is a beautiful lightweight foundation that is not very overly dewy it gives you a right amount of radiance today i have mixed these two foundation and it just gave me my perfect skin shade i am so happy with this foundation because firstly it does not enhance any of my texture i have got a matured skin and it sits beautifully without emphasizing those on my skin and anything hydrating glowy luminous i need it in my collection 
then i have skin tints and i have got three skin tints this is max factor miracle pure foundation though it is named as foundation but this is perfect as a skin tint it has a very nice light to medium buildable coverage and the best part about this foundation is if you go one shade lighter or darker it just adjusts to your skin tone and it has all the hydrating and uh, skin care benefit with spf 30 pa triple plus i really enjoy this for my everyday use next is this smashbox hello healthy uh, all in one tinted moisturizer this is something is very very beautiful as medium coverage and still you can build it up without making your face look cakey i have got a mini size but you can go for a full size if you want to but if you haven't tried it and want to try it go for a trial size you can have a fair idea whether it is going to suit your skin type or not next one is this rimmel kind and free uh, moisturizing skin tint in the shade latte i really enjoy this you guys it has such runny consistency and sits beautifully on the skin perfect for your everyday feels lightweight gets little bit oily after three four hours but i really don't mind you can touch up whenever you want to and these are something i prefer for my everyday wear so one product just skipped my mind and i don't know how this happened so it is elf halo glow liquid filter if you ever get this on discount or buy one get one just don't forget to grab it it is such a brilliant product everyone says it is a dupe for charlotte tilbury i have compared it and reviewed this on my channel it does not provide you too much of coverage and whatever shimmer particles is there inside it is finely milled you will not able to detect the shimmers on your face even if the light hits you i really feel that this is very hydrating and moisturizing if i use it on its own and if you are someone who don't like to use this on its own you can use it under the foundation or mixed with the foundation also you can use this to highlight the highest points of your face and your body i recently have posted a video on skin tints if you guys are interested please check the link in the description or visit my channel uh, you will find different videos that you might love to watch moving on to the powder category i have got only one powder to recommend to you guys because it works like a gem and this is my holy grail i have been using it since the time it launched in india i'm talking about nyx can't stop won't stop mattifying powder i'm in the shade tan now this is such a beautiful lightweight powder it just gives you a very nice even skin tone once you apply it it has little bit of coverage very very light it is not going to give you a powder uh, foundation like finish but it blurs and evens out your skin gives you a smooth canvas and your skin feels very smooth when you look in person this is my second purchase if you get a chance please try and use this it is suitable for each and every skin type and it is not drying at all Coming on to the cream bronzer category, I have got these two options. One is Huda Beauty and the other one is Makeup Revolution. Makeup Revolution's cream bronzer is very, very beautiful. It is so creamy, smells amazing. It blends beautifully without any harsh lines, nothing at all. Uh, the shade that I have got, I think, is medium. It has a cool undertone. If you have a cool undertone, then definitely it is going to work work well on your skin type i have a warm undertone and i think that is why it looks muddy on me the next one is this huda beauty tantor i have been talking about it in each and every video it is such a beautiful you know tantor you can contour as well as bronze up your face i have the shade light with me and it's brilliant settles from cream to powder and it is very very long wearing easy to blend does not give you any harsh lines and it is going to stay on your face for the longest time coming on to the powder bronzer category i have two options one is from rimmel and the other one is root cosmetics let's talk about rimmel first this is in the shade sun down and this has red undertone also it has spf so if you are someone who loves to use makeup for your everyday use makeup that contains spf so it will uh, increase the longevity of your sunscreen uh, application and this has a beautiful lightweight finish it 
it is very pigmented so little goes a long long way with this next one is this root cosmetics go for the bronze bronzer this is in the shade as good as gold this is a shimmer bronzer but it is not very overly shimmery because it does not contain any uh, chunky shimmer particles or glitter particles it is very very finely milled shimmer bronzer today i have used this both to bronze up my skin and look at how beautiful how natural and both this combination is mind blowing in the concealer category, I have got four beautiful concealers for you. The first one is Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. If you haven't tried it, I would suggest please grab it during this sale because this is one concealer that does not crease on me whatsoever. It has a lightweight finish, gives you a full coverage and this shade Warm Sand is my perfect, you know, uh, skin match because I love concealer that matches to my skin tone wherein if I don't want anything on my face I can just spot conceal and call it a day and this is quite long wearing it does not dry out in any ways it is suitable for each and every skin type and I love it the next one is my recent and current favorite is this makeup revolution IRL filter finish concealer soft matte concealer by the way and this is in the shade C 9.5 this has a very nice warm olive undertone and the best part about this concealer is this unique tip applicator i really love how it fits to the nooks and corners of my face and it is just beautiful very lightweight blends like a dream and gives you a soft matte finish this shade works as a brightening concealer on me it does not crush it does not settle into my fine lines i love it very very lightweight the next one is this nyx bear with me uh, serum concealer Concealer, hydrating concealer lightweight gives you full coverage a little goes a long way comes with a pump which is a bummer but still you can work with your fingers with your brush with your sponge and the last one is this Huda Beauty 4 filter concealer I am in the shade if I'm not wrong I'll mention it on the screen I don't want to strain my eyes by the way and also it has got a unique uh, doe foot applicator this is also a brilliant concealer though it is full coverage it does not feel heavy at all and also it is very very long wearing it creases little bit under my eyes but on the rest part of my face it does not crease at all and i love it huda beauty always goes on 40 to 50 percent off so whenever you see a good 50 percent off just get your favorite products from Huda Beauty. Heading on to the blush category, I have four options with me. Let's talk one by one. First one is this LA Girl Soft Matte Creme Blush. As the name suggests, it gives you a soft matte finish. Very pigmented, super blendable, easily blends with your finger, with your brush, with your uh, sponge and extremely long wearing. For seven to eight hours, you don't need any touch-ups and it does not cling on to dry patches extremely creamy formula i love to use it on top of the powder products if i ever forget to use cream blush under my powder and it does not you know lift out my foundation whatsoever next is this root cosmetics cream puff blush in the shade shortcake i love this formulation you guys it is something which settles from cream to powder and this is pigmented lightweight extremely long wearing and this is beautiful you have got couple of shades to choose from next is this 80 rupees inside cosmetics cream blush this can beat any high-end blush you guys the formulation is so beautifully made it's such creamy so pigmented very very long wearing does not cling on to any dry patches does not emphasize your texture works beautifully with each and every tool even with your fingers it just blends like a dream coming to the last blush category is this revolution super dewy liquid blush i don't remember the shade so i'll mention it on the screen for you guys this has a gel like formulation which is beautiful when you apply it and uh, when you squeeze out the product you will feel that oh it is very pigmented but once you blend it out it gives you a natural flush of color if you want you can build up the product and that way you can increase or decrease the pigmentation as per your choice something that sits beautifully on my 
mature dry skin i don't feel like it clings to my dry patches or uh, emphasizes any of my texture this shade looks beautiful for my no makeup makeup days when i just want to add some flush of color and it does that and if it goes on good sale only then grab it because if you don't find good sale on nykaa's hot pink sale then wait for mintra's end of reason sale there definitely you will get these products on good deals now in highlighter category i have three options the first one is this wet and wild mega glow highlighter in the shade precious petal i'm little old school so i always love to use this when i want a very subtle natural highlighter because this does not contains any uh, shimmer chunky glitter particle it is just the highlighter that gives you a radiant looking healthy looking skin and the next one is this inside cosmetics highlighter this is a cream highlighter and it's such a beautiful highlighter you guys just look at it just look at it so it also does not contain any shimmer or glitter particles it gives you a subtle glow but you can definitely increase the intensity as per your choice and the next one is this rimmel highlight and this is in the shade candle lit it is also a beautiful highlight highlighter if you like that subtle highlighter thing then this is going to give you i really love highlighter that does not contains any uh, chunky or shimmer particles that is visible on your face when the light hits because that way you can see a lot of shimmer particles shining on your face but these are the highlighters which does not do that it gives you a very nice uh, you know distributed highlighted uh, look so yes i love them Coming to the lipstick category I have three options the first one is Flower Beauty Petal Pout lip color this is in the shade Berry More which I have on my lips today uh I used a lip liner to pair with this lipstick because if I use it on its own it might wash me off and I have been enjoying this kind of bullet lipstick because it is not too drying and you can see a very subtle shine on my lips which feels very moisturizing I can move my lips without cracking without uh, drying my lip next one is flower beauty perfect pout moisturizing lipstick this is in the shade blush rose and let me just give you a swatch because these kind of moisturizing lipsticks are really in nowadays just look at the shine have you seen that revlon lustrous lipstick I don't know because I have not used it but it looks quite similar to those kind of formulation and look at how moisturizing how shiny it looks I love 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 this lipstick you guys it feels such hydrating on my lips does not settle into my lip lines now we have the last in lipstick category which is not exactly a lipstick but a lip gloss from elf it is their plumping lip gloss this is in the shade champ pen glam and this is how it swatches which looks almost transparent and it has very very fine shimmer particles which you will not feel on your lips if you see from a distance you will feel that this is absolutely a transparent lip gloss without any shimmer particles it is that shiny gives you a juicy and glossy lip it has a subtle tingling sensation which you can bear and it is not going to make your lips two times larger than your actual lips this is a very good plumping lip gloss there are a couple of other shades available if you think you love such kind of lip glosses then just go for it because elf either they have 20% off or bogo sale buy one get one so you can pick one of these during that time All right moving on to the setting spray I have four options with me and whatever setting spray I'm sharing in today's video I have tried and tested it out for longer hours and it did last my makeup well so let's start with an affordable one so it is Mars Seal the Deal a makeup setting spray this is an absolute gem you guys it does seal your makeup in place and it does not let your makeup move it is very long wearing does not dry out your skin and it does not 
suck up the extra moisture from my skin the next one is elf stay all night micro fine setting mist it says that it will lock your makeup in place for up to 16 hours which i totally agree because i have worn my makeup for 10 to 12 hours using this setting spray and it did not move my makeup anywhere uh, i could see that my face was sweating but still it did not melt my entire makeup and also this is supposed to be a dupe for urban decay this takes up all the powderiness from your face and it gives you a very uh, natural looking mattified face so oily skin type can go ahead i'm a dry skin but still i love to use this because it is quite comfortable quite lightweight on my skin the next is nyx dewy finish setting spray this is a 60 ml bottle and it is also going to make your makeup last up till 16 hour if you like very natural uh, dewy looking skin then this is going to provide you with that it is not going to make your skin look like an oil slick on the other hand it is going to take away all the powderiness and going to keep your makeup intact unless and until you are wearing your makeup i have tried it i love it very very lightweight only thing i did not like the spray from this because it does not provide me with an even distribution of spray all over my face the spray is little bit harsh so maybe it is problem with my bottle or i don't know i'm just left with this much quantity and yes i have used it to the moon and back and i love it love it love it the last in the setting spray is Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This is a 60 ml bottle and it is also going to make your makeup last up till 16 hours. Now this you can use it in many ways to prime your face, to prep your face and to set your face. This is supposed to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury one. So if you don't want to spend your 3000, 4000 rupees for just one setting spray, you can invest in this. It is not supposed to be a matte or dewy foundation but gives you a natural looking skin takes away all the powderiness and i have and this has been my favorite for the longest time if you're looking out for an affordable dupe to charlotte tilbury just invest in this all right coming to the eyeshadow palettes i have four options for you and if you are someone who loves that rosy tones eyeshadow palette then i think you should definitely need to invest in sigma's cody rosa eyeshadow palette this comes with a very nice dual ended brush and also you get a full size mirror and these are the tones and whatever you see on the pan everything gets translated on your eyes today i've used this eyeshadow to create this eye look and i just love each and every shade from this right from the pinks maroons and these kind of terracotta stands everything just blends beautifully it is hell pigmented if you love earthy tones eyeshadows then you should invest something in this this is milani's gilded terra eyeshadow palette just look at the color story it is such beautiful it is pigmented right from the mattes shimmers metallic next is root cosmetics Rio de Janeiro Metropolis eyeshadow palette it comes with a mirror and these are the four mattes you get and rest are blends of shimmers metallics and satins now talking about this black it is to die for rest three shades uh, does not show up on me much but I don't care because this shimmers and metallics are something I have loved from this palette if you like this color story definitely invest something in this the next Next and the last one is again from Root Cosmetics and it is the Spell Book Eyeshadow Palette. It is in the variant Love. You also get a cute little mirror and this is the eyeshadow color story. If you are someone who loves to create colorful eye looks, definitely you need such kind of color story because the mattes as well as the shimmer and this one glitter in the center is to die for. The mattes blends beautifully. Whatever you see on the pan, it gets translated does not turn muddy once you blend it out and it does not leave any kind of patchy marks no bald spots does not lift your base whatsoever i loved playing with this palette and i have already reviewed this palette on my channel please have a look 
we have come to the last part of this video so before ending everything let's just talk about some makeup tools which is much needed if you have the right tool your makeup will be a game changer and the first one are this pizza puff this is something you really need to have it in your collection i haven't thought it would mean so much to me unless and until i tried it out i have been using this for my powders only i haven't tried it with any of the cream or liquid products but you can use this with your creams liquids as well as your powder if you like that airbrush look it is going to provide you with that now the next one if you have a good beauty blender it is going to make your makeup look beautiful so the one is this morphe um highlight and contour beauty sponge it has got slant edge so you can apply your cream your powder you can bake with it you can blend your cream products your liquid products your powder products the next one is a very affordable one it is a plush world beauty sponge it is very soft very squishy mine is dirty because i have used it today so please excuse me for the that. first one is this elf foundation buffing brush i have been enjoying this it retails for somewhere around 800 but definitely you can grab it at a good discount or during buy one get one this does not leave any brush strokes and it blends my cream liquid products like a dream the next one is morphe m439 foundation brush and this brush you guys when i saw jacqueline hill doing her makeup i have seen her using this brush and it works brilliantly because i have worked with this brush before also i have still not used it still not touched it it is absolutely new since the time i got it i will definitely use it in near future but if you're looking out for a good foundation brush you have these two options all right you guys so it's a wrap for today hope you found the content helpful and informative if you did please take a moment to like share subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell button you can also follow me on my social media handles whose link i have mentioned it in the description box please come and say hi and i will see you soon with my next one till then bye bye take care